NASCAR got weird in Austin for the first time ever. Was it a success? Let's find out more on Post Checker Flag. Hey everyone, Mike from LA1 here. Welcome back. We've got some NASCAR news coming to discuss. We'll talk more about that tomorrow as part of tomorrow's content for you guys, as well as a possible update regarding me getting back outside the studio again. So overall, I thought this weekend was actually a really solid weekend if it wasn't for Mother Nature being a total bitch. That's not, I'll talk more about this as we get through the top 10 of the point standings. The truck race of Charlotte is today. We're one hour away from the green flag dropping. Let's not waste any time. Let's get to the results quickly. Hey everyone, here are your top 10 for the Toyota Tundra 250 at the Circuit of the America. Oh, 225. The that, fuck. Ladies and gentlemen, here's your top 10 for the Toyota Tundra 225 at the Circuit of the Americas. In 10th place, only gaining one position, Ben Rhodes. In 9th place, finishing where he started, it is Austin Hill at Atari Racing. In 8th place, really a solid day for GMS's own Zane Smith. In 7th place, the master of the 42, Garson Hargavar. Really good day from him. In 6th place, driver of the 32, if I think it's in the game. And the 32, it is Sam Mayer. Yes, that's Sam Mayer. Oh, here we go, Sam Mayer from Wintron Racing. I'm not sure if that's him or not, but let's see. In fifth place, your defending Truck Series champion, Sheldon Creed with a top five. And in fourth place, a really good day for Grant Enfinger. For Grand and Finger. In third place, finally we're seeing his potential. Tyler Ankrum. In second place, driver of the O2. It's Kaz Growla with a second place. Out of boy, kid. And in first place, it's only his second career win. It is Todd Gillen for Front Row Motorsports. Man, Front Row's having a really good 2021 so far with two wins. One in Cup, one in, one in the Now in the Truck Series. Great, great win for Front Row Motorsports. All right, let's take a look at some of our other top contenders. Here. Paul Menard returned at 11th, in 11th, finishing 11th. John Hunter Nemechek finished 12th. Alan Dingen, top 15 for her. Very good. Matt Crafton, 15th. And boy, it's great to see qualifying come back. Although the truck race, spoiler alert, got rained out. So, for Charlotte. Got canceled. Timothy Peters, 32nd. Not that much in the term of racks today. The only major issue, Christian Eckes in the 98 got, got a suspension issue. Other than that, that's practically it. So, let's get to the truck series standings. And then, we'll jump into Xfinity. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, here is the point standings for the truck race. And don't worry, I talk, talk about Mother Nature. I'll talk more about it when we get to Xfinity. In first place, with 396 points, it's the prodigy, John Hunter Nemechek. In second place, with 365, Ben Rhodes. In third place with 327, Sheldon Creed. In fourth place with 303, Austin Hill. And in fifth place with 288, this week's winner, who punches his ticket to the playoffs, Todd Gilliland. And in sixth place with 285, just three points behind Gilliland, is the is the our grandfather. Of the truck series, Matt Crafton. And in seventh place, 
266, Grand Anfinger. In eighth place with 259, it is Zane Smith. And in ninth place with 257, just two points between him and Smith, Stuart Friesen. And in 10th place with 225, it is none other. Before I was interrupted, in 10th place we, with 225, it is a in 10th place for 225. None other than Natalie, uh, not, uh, not Natalie Decker, Carson Hovachar, excuse me. And that is your top 10 for the points for the truck series. Xfinity coming right up. And ladies and gentlemen, here is the Pit Boss 250 for the Xfinity series. And I should mention, expect a lot of, expect a lot of, Cup Series drivers here because they were using this to get experience for Coda. Here we go. In 10th place, a really good day for the Talladega winner, Jeb Burton. In 9th place, Justin Haley. In 8th place, driving for Jordan Anderson Racing in their first official Xfinity race, and he got him in the good points, Tyler Reddick. In 7th place, we have Cole Custer in the 17. And in 6th place, the prodigy of the Xfinity Series, Harrison Burton. In 5th place, Austin Sendrick. In 4th place, driving the 5, it is Kevin Harvick. In 3rd place, a really good day for the leader of Junior Motorsports. A new, a, a new two-time dad, Justin Allgaier. Congratulations to him and the entire Allgaier family. And in second place, it's the road, 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 road course scholar, A.J. Allmendinger. Okay, seriously, who didn't know he was going to get a top two? And in first place, Kyle Busch. This is like 96, 97 wins in the Xfinity Series for him. And this and the this in the truck race, the rain was out of control. And I'll talk more about that in just a sec. Alright, as we take a look at the results and man, how fitting is this? The 54 won both on roll courses. So here we go. Michael Annette finished eleventh. Brett Moffat twelfth. Austin Dillon, who was also in this race, thirteenth. Preston Pardo, fourteenth. Riley Herbst almost got a top fifteen. Okay. Maya Snyder finished 21st. Boris said, boy, feeling nostalgic already. 31st. Daniel Hammer, 29th. Ross Chastain, we'll talk more about him in a little bit. He finished 30th. Oh, we got a lot of more blown engines than, than Rex. Chris Wright, Timmy Hill, Tommy Joe Martins, and Noah Gregson. Noah Gregson, his shit block continues. He had engine problems. The driver of the eight car for road courses, Mikel Poluto from Brazil, had a rear issue. And by the way, we got a Brazilian driver. That's awesome, man. We're getting more diversity. Thanks, Bubba. We're making NASCAR more diverse. So let's not waste any time. Let's get to the points. Well, here is your top ten in the point standings for the Xfinity Series. In uh, first place with 471. Your defending champion, Austin Cedric. In second place with 394, Harrison Burton. In third place, the war, the roll course specialist, AJ Almendinger. And in fourth place, the perennial runner-up of the Xfinity Series, Daniel Hemrick. In fifth place. A two-time dad, Justin Allgaier, with 359. In, in sixth place with 345, Ross, not Ross, Jeff Burton. In 
We're 345. In seventh place, we're 330. Just 15 points. Justin Haley. In eighth place, we're 302. Jeremy Clements. Place with 301. Noah Greggs in it, which I view is now in a must win situation. And in 10th place, in 10th place, Myatt Snyder with 298. Boy, this is getting closer and closer, and I'm enjoying every minute of it. Now let's get to the cup race where it went the full. Oh, wait, it didn't. We had our first rain out of the season. Okay, before we get to the cup, there's something I really want you to see. So I was checking on my analytics, checking to see how much you should have been getting like I usually do. Then this happened. Now I should mention here, notice, I, viewership has been steadily arising and then with the all time high 631. But I don't know if this is a YouTube glitch. But, yeah, no one watched my videos yesterday. What the literal fuck? That's the, I think that's the first time in, t in the history of the channel I, that has actually happened. I don't know if this is a YouTube glitch, because if that's legit, and I had zero views yesterday, that, that, just sucks. But the good news is, viewership seems to be getting back, and hopefully this zero will be a total fluke, and hopefully this will not have ever happen again. All right, now let's get to the cups. And now, ladies and gentlemen, here is the top ten for the Echo Park Texas Grand Prix. Probably one of the coolest names for a race this season, better than the where it be is what's for dinner. Races and the Bushy McBush 400. All right, in 10th place, we have Rowdy Kyle Bush. In 9th place, a really impressive outing, Tyler Reddick to go aside with his impressive run in the Xfinity. In 8th place, the tamer of the monster at the Monster Mile, Alex Bowman. In seventh place, will this guy ever go away? A really to improve on front rows, Michael McDowell. In sixth place, finally, we see something good here. The 14 of Clint's, Chase Briscoe getting his first top 10 in cup. Congratulations to him. In fifth place, AJ Allmendinger. In fourth place, and this is a surprise. Could this be a sign of things to come for Ross Chastain? In third place, the Connecticut racer, Joey Logano. In second place, Kyle Larson continuing his dominant run. And in first place, even though this is a rainout, this still counts, so no asterisks whatsoever. Anyone believes that he should have to have to have put an asterisk on this ring can fuck off. Your defending champion, Chase Elliott. Yeah, I don't know why people are saying he should vacate the win. And, oh, we'll talk more about that tomorrow. So let's talk about some of the stuff I liked. Well, for one, we had, let's see, who else? Byron finished 11th, so the end of the top 10 streak, which sucks. Busher was 13th. Ryan Priest, 15th. Brad Keselowski, finishing 19th. Corey LaJoy got 25th. That's good for Spire. Austin Sendrick finished 25th, and he was up in the front for most of the day until he finally gave out. But now we we had a DVP for Quinn Howe, of course. We gotta talk about the Rex. The first big wreck happened very early on, right round stage one, where Kevin Harvick was involved along with Christopher Bell and Justin Haley. It was pretty bad, 
because the driver couldn't because the drivers couldn't see shit because the rain really was a factor here because it was coming down pretty hard. And it was revealed that Bubba Wallace ran into Harvick because once again, he couldn't see shit. And no people are gonna say he didn't he ran out of talent. Thank you, Ryan Newman, for that quote. No, if you're in the same boat, the same shoes as Bubba Wallace, you couldn't see shit either. Which is why I think they should have red flagged the race right then and there. But then it took another big crash between Martin Truex Jr. and and Cole Custer, with Custer's car nearly got set into the air and catching fire that gave, gave me nightmares of that Roman Grosjean crash last year in Bahrain. And no one in the dent track where got 33rd, by the way, in case anyone's wondering. Yeah. Well, I think it was like 14 laps to go. That's when they called it. And to be honest... To be honest, had it gone the full distance, I felt Kyle Busch was going to win this race. And this is coming from an Elliott fan. I had a feeling Chase got lucky, and Kyle Busch probably would have won. In fact, he I say, I'm going to say it. Kyle should have won. I'm being brutally honest here, guys. All right, let's get to the cup resu points results so I can get the hell out of here so I can start getting ready for the news reports because, boy, did they change their points up here. Well, before we get to the point, do I want Kona back on the schedule? Yes! But only with better rain tires, because hopefully we don't have to go... Hopefully rain tires that go through standing water, hopefully, but do, you, do I think it's going to happen? No, probably not. So I do want to Toda in there. Overall, it was actually really good. All right, here we go. Here are your point standings for the NASCAR Cup Series. In first place with 597, just three points short of 600, Denny Hamlin. In second place with 499, one away from 500, the Charlotte Baron, William Byron. In third place with 487, the Redemption Man, Kyle Larson. In fourth place with 486 by one point is the Connecticut Husky driver, Joey Logano. In fifth place, with 481, the Circuit of the Americas Conqueror, your defending champion, Chase Elliott. In sixth place, the Tasmanian Devil, New Jersey Tasmanian Devil. I'm really thrilled he walked out. He walked out of that car okay. Martin Truex Jr. In seventh place, with 458. The creator of Blaney Ride Infringement, Ryan Blaney. In eighth place, with 428, is Kevin Harvick. Thankfully, he all the drivers are okay. In ninth place, with 422, we'll talk more about him tomorrow as well. Brad Keselowski. And in tenth place, with 422, oh, it's a tie. We have the rowdy one, Kyle Busch. And that's going to conclude this week's Post Check the Flag. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully this week's race is at Charlotte Motor Speedway. It's better than that shit show at the Nashville Fairgrounds meeting. Thanks for watching, everyone.